Hey, what's going on guys? So today I wanted to bring up a problem that my truck recently had a few days ago. It just randomly shut off on me. I mean, complete electrical graveyard. The entire truck shut off. I was in the driveway, thankfully, but I'm gonna go ahead and figure out um, the best way to fix this issue. Supposedly there's a ground up here. It's like a G218, I think it was. Um, and basically there's a problem with that that makes the ignition trip because that's the, like the ignition ground and other stuff like that too. But I'm going to go ahead and also disconnect the battery and make sure there's no problem with that. And also by doing other research, there might be a ground somewhere down there that's also having an issue. Because uh, if we look here, there's kind of, there's two grounds off of this one ground from the battery. And the second one goes down to the um, body of the truck. And that one could be covered with dirt and just all kinds of stuff from years of buildup. So we're gonna try that. And we're gonna also fix that up there and see if that gets rid of this because this thing just like flickered on me. And then I was pulling into the driveway, I was backing in and it just shut off. I mean, it just coasted to a stop. Everything turned off. So. Ready to go ahead and do this. Uh, I'll show you what I'm doing and then uh, we'll see if it all works and pray it does. All right, first things first, get that battery disconnected and then you're gonna come in here and we need to get that, that front piece off right there. So you gotta take off these things first to get up in there. So we'll go ahead and do that. Get like a little pry tool or something like that and just. All right, now we get to our 10 millimeter socket. Take both of these out. All right, now we gotta pop this whole thing off right here and it's said to get up here and grab it. And then just like that. And we ease that on out. And then yeah, it should be the same thing where you just kind of unclip this thing. Might be able to get my hands in there and grab that one and pull it out. There it goes, it's starting to come out some. And yeah, this should be able to come out now. I've kind of got it started. There it goes. Something is hanging on there. See, there's there's that thing in there, so I'm gonna go ahead and probably disconnect it off of that first. And then for this piece right here, I should be able to just get a little spot right there. And then just start to pop this thing up. There's little clips in it. There it goes. And then you gotta watch your uh, little sensor thing right here. That's gonna wanna, that's gonna have to be unplugged. Now once you get that, you have to lift this up and you'll see right here, you just gotta pull that and that'll unplug. It turns a little bit, there it goes. Now it's unplugged. That's when that comes right out. All right, now, our problem is back there. See that little, that little nut right there? See that? That is the ground that we're concerned about. And you can see all around it, that little rubber stuff, like the yellow outer, like outer line, that is what's interfering with the ground according to like the other like reforms and stuff like that. So that's what we're gonna be fixing so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, figure that out because this is a very like tight space. Cause I don't know if I'll be able to fit my ratchet back there, but. All right, y'all. So I couldn't really get anything I had to fit back there. So all I really did was just take that foam right there and just kind of cut a piece off and then also pull back what I can from the bottom right there. So I didn't really get to take that off and sand it like I wanted to, but at least now, as you can tell, 
it uh, is a lot more clear. Um, there's no rubber grommet touching it anymore. Nothing else is touching it besides just the bolt and the nut and, and the ground itself. So uh, I'm gonna have to roll with this. I, I, I literally tried forever and I couldn't get anything I had to fit back there. Um, so yeah, we're, we're just gonna go ahead and settle for this. Uh, this has been working for multiple other people. Uh, so I can also just roll with this. But uh, yeah, so now we're gonna go ahead and put everything back um, together up here. So just do what you saw I did in reverse order. And uh, yeah, and then you should be good. So then I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll move to the one outside. All right guys, so once you find your way from right here underneath the truck, you'll see that bolt right there. This is like your secondary ground or something like that. I guess it comes stock from the factory, but as you can tell, uh, that doesn't look very well uh, grounded or even then like the conditions of it doesn't even like it have a good connection at all so I'm gonna go ahead and take that off I, and I disconnected the battery so it's safe uh, I'm gonna clean this up as, as best as I can get uh, scrape off what I can sand what I need to and then uh, place it back down and spray some black spray paint over it to protect it from any uh, rust later all right you guys I simply took just a standard butter knife and just scratched the living hell out of it uh, all there was like so much kicked up dirt. There it is right there um, So I'm gonna go ahead now and probably get like that 80 grit sandpaper uh, Sand that down uh, Even this right here too just to make sure that we have a solid connection uh, as soon as This thing is ready to go back up. So this is our secondary um, Ground again, and also this is our second way of helping this thing not shut off on me So I should be good after this. All right guys, so went ahead Sanded everything down, super smooth. Uh, scraped it, sanded it, used 80 grit, and then some 320 to smooth it out. I, I even did the same thing to this piece right here. Um, this being the ground itself, went ahead and sanded that down as well, uh, just to make sure I get any crud off and have the best connection that we can get. So, we're gonna go ahead and wipe this off a little bit, and then just put that back in there. And then we're gonna go ahead and screw it down and then we're gonna go ahead and spray paint this with some black paint uh some paint and primer and then uh we should be good to go Alrighty, guys and that's it so also went ahead and kind of sanded down uh the bottom side of that bolt too and i grabbed it uh and then put it back together and then spray painted it so this way no rust will come back from all the sanded spots that i hit and uh, yeah so that should be it now i'm gonna go ahead and uh Relo uh, reconnect the battery itself. Uh, make sure that's nice and tight as well. And then that should be everything. So hopefully this fixes the problem, which I really hope it does. And I think it might because of these are the two main grounds that interfere with the ignition. So not only this being the battery ground, oops, uh, also the one inside that I uh, fixed is the ground for the ignition. So. Hopefully that fixes both of those problems. All right guys, so that's about it. Uh, if you're experiencing any of these problems, uh, definitely try out those two ground problems right there. Um, I watched multiple videos and it was either one or the other. Uh, some only did one. Uh, I think I'm the only person that I've done that's, that I've seen that done two. Uh, so you can do that. They also mentioned there's like a, a secondary one on the right side of the dash too that you could go ahead and like fix. Um, Supposedly that one doesn't really like interfere with anything that deals with the ignition So I guess if I ever have problems with like AC cutting on or off or whatever I'll go back in there and fix that up. But for right now, it's fine um, Yeah, if I, I all I did was cut these little pieces off right here These little foam pieces that interfere with that ground up in the dash and then use the butter knife some sandpaper and a little bit of uh, black spray paint We'll fix it right up on that one by the body and uh, yeah, so that's all I got. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope this helps you. And uh, as always, like, subscribe, do whatever you need to do. And uh, see you later.